Assalamu alaikum. Sunna Followers presents a new and exciting course to add to your Islamic learning and development. Interpretation in Living with the Quran, taught by Sheikh Saad Hassanin, considered to be one of the most accomplished scholars of Quranic science in the United States. He is a member of AMJA, the Assembly of Muslim Jurists of America. He holds a PhD in Islamic Studies, professor at IUM. His specialty is in 10 different styles of Quranic recitation and jurisprudence. Classes will be held every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern, streaming right here on Sunnah Followers. Family, the best family on the face of the earth. I mean, whether it is uh, prayer, whether it is the whole life, hayati, the whole life, no suki, mahyai, mamat, even death. Even this, if someone passed, we have to do certain ritual, and this ritual is ibadah, ibadah for the sake of Allah. So, but subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to remind us, wants us to gain more, more uh, rewards. He wants to raise our ranks, our level in this life and in the hereafter. So there is certain time, and in Islam, we call it Nafahat. Nafahat is noon, fa, ha, alif, ta. Nafahat, nafha means gift. Nafha means uh, 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 something beautiful. Allah gave it to you to uh, reconcile, to go back and look and try to work a little harder. Uh, uh, it's a kind of a gift. Allah gave it to you alone the years. And those kinds of gifts, one of them is Ramadan. And one of them is the month of Muharram. The sacred month will come uh, 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 after this month, which is uh, uh, um, the, the beginning of the year, the Hijri year, month, the lunar year, month. And before that, the month of the Hijjah, which is the month of, of Hajj. And even before the month of Hajj, there, there is Shawwal. And in Shawwal, we have certain ritual. We pass the first six days after Ramadan as the reward of them. Allah, if you pass those six days of Shawwal after the month of Ramadan, is like you exactly fasted all your life. That's the reward that you are of it. Uh, the Salat, the rich, the uh, righteous people, they used to adore, they used to uh, love, they used to honor. Three tens. Three tens. We start with the easy one. The ten nights of Ramadan. And the ten rites of Ramadan, the ritual is i'tikaf. We stay in the masjid. We make dua. Of course, we are already fasting because the month of Ramadan. But we do extra ibadah. We do extra prayer and uh, to meet or to gain the reward of Laylatul Qad. So the uh, righteous people, they used to uh, uh, be on their toes to, to gain such a reward. They used to make a pikaf, read Quran, and extra prayer uh, just to meet Laylatul Qadr. And Laylatul Qadr is uh, uh, one night, uh, the, 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 the majority of the scholars said it moves from night to night. Could be the 23rd, could be the, the 21st of Ramadan, it could be the 25th, it could be the 27th, it could be the 29th, and maybe this year is the 21st, maybe next year is the 
third, maybe the year after is the 29th, it moves along the years. Uh, uh, and the reward of it, it is better in Ibadah. More, the reward is, will be equal or more, not equal, more than uh, Alf Shahr, 1,000 months. And if you uh, uh, do the math, 1,000 months means what about 83 years. So one night you worship Allah right and you spend the effort, your age will be increased in rewards in Tawab by 83 years. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us this opportunity, this reward, because people before us, their age were longer than us. And the age used to be 500 years. Uh, you remember uh, Hadrat Nuh, Prophet Nuh, alayhi salam, he lived 950 years giving da'wah. And our age is around uh, between 60 and 70. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave an extra reward for little work we do to reach those kinds of age. In the day of judgment, you will come with mountains of rewards, mountains of hasanat, and then you ask Allah, oh my Lord, I only lived 40 years, 60 years, 70 years, 100 years. But this rewards I am seeing, those mountains of tawab, those mountains of reward means that I lived 1,000 years. Then they will, the angels will answer you, Allah will answer you, said, yeah, you gain few laylatul qadr. You gain uh, 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 many multiplication of your hasanat. Your Ramadan was accepted. And those 10 nights, the last 10 nights of Ramadan, they are the best, be careful with the word, the best of nights in the whole year. The best of 10 nights in the whole year. Uh, year. And then the second 10 is the 10 days of Zul Hijjah, which is the day that we are uh, practicing right now or living right now. Those 10 days, uh, uh, people go to Hajj, and those people going to Hajj, they uh, come back, inshallah, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to bring our hajj back safe and sound, their hajj accepted, and uh, give them the, 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 the strength to practice the hajj as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa did, Allahumma ameen. So those 10 days, we have two kinds of, of uh, or two categories. One category, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honor it by giving them the chance to go to Hajj. And those people, if their Hajj is accepted, they will come back. Their record is clean. Nothing in their record like they just born. And the other category uh, is the people that did not have the chance to go to Hajj. But those people don't, did not go to Hajj and didn't have the honor or didn't have the chance to go to Hajj. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al adl is the wise, is the, the absolute just. He gave them, he gave us certain rituals to do to reach some of these rewards that people of Hajj are practicing. And in those 10 days of Dhul Hijjah, uh, 
we have the day of Arafah, like the 10 nights of Ramadan, we have the day of the, the night of Laylatul Qadr. The 10 days of the Hijjah, we have uh, uh, the day of Arafah. And the day of Arafah, if you fast that day, only that day, you pass that day, Allah will wipe out your sins, expiate your sins for two consecutive years. Present year, which is this year, 224, and uh, the, 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 uh, another, uh, uh, another year, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, uh, wipe the sin, the sins that you uh, made in the previous year and this year, so 23 and 24, subhanallah. That's the reward for fasting only one day for those 10 days. I want also, as I said before, the best 10 nights in the whole year, the scholar said they are in the last days, the last uh, night of Ramadan. And the best 10 days in the whole year, as per the Prophet وسلم, saying, he said the best 10 days that the sun rises upon, they are the, ten, the first 10 days of Hijjah, those 10 beautiful days and those 10 days they have the day of Arafah which Allah uh, uh, recommend and the Prophet Sallallahu recommend for us to fast and we will come back to those uh, 10 days what should we do in those 10 days in charm then we come to another 10 beautiful days they are the first 10 days of Muharram. The next month, the beginning of the lunar year. So the scholars, the righteous people, they used to love and they used to respect and they used to honor those three tens. The last 10 is the 10 days of Muharram. And exactly like the 10 nights of Ramadan, they have Laylatul Qadr. The 10 days of uh, uh, Dhul Hijjah, they have uh, 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 the day of Arafah. The 10 days of Muharram, they have the, the day of Ashura and also the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam recommend to us to fast the day of Ashura. And he, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, fasted the day of Ashura and he promised when he, if Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala extended his age, he will fast the, the uh, one day before it or one day after. So in Muharram, in those 10 days, the day of Ashura, the 10th of Muharram, we fast, and uh, uh, you can fast that day alone. Don't miss that day. And if you are strong enough, or you want to make more reward, get more rewards, more hasanat, you fast day before it and day after. The scholar said that. If you cannot, then you fast one day before before uh, uh, Ashura. So you pass the 9th of Muharram and the 10th of Muharram. Or you pass the 10th of Muharram, Ashura, and the 11th of, of Muharram. And if you pass the day of Ashura, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive one year of 10, subhanAllah. The day of Arafah, two years, and uh, 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 Laylatul Qadr, 
you 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 gain the reward of 83 years will be adding to your uh, uh, to your scale or to your uh, uh, book of to your book of uh, record. Dear brothers and sisters, those ten days which we celebrating now, the ten days of Zul Hijjah, and Zul Hijjah is a sacred month, and that sacred month, Subhanallah, is uh, 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 Allah an honor that that month, and even during Al Jahiliyyah. Uh, Quraysh or uh, people before Islam, they used to respect those months, sacred months. They used to not to fight in those in those months when they uh, when they uh, when they arrived. So uh, the 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 day of Arafa, uh, just this is on the side note, the day of Arafa will come uh, this year on Saturday. And there is a hadith he reported that you do not fast Saturday. And that hadith, the scholar uh, of hadith, they are um, have different of opinion about this hadith. Some of them, they said, it is okay hadith, it is sound hadith, and some of them said no. It's not sound hadith, but anyway, this is not our piece of cake here. Uh, you can fast Saturday. You're going to ask why. Why? Because some of us, they fasting the whole 10 days. They can fast the whole nine days, actually, not 10, because the 10th day in Zul Hijjah will be Eid day. They fast. The nine days, and nine days mean they fast one day before uh, Saturday, and then they will fast Saturday. That will be okay because you're not fasting neither Friday alone nor Saturday alone. Then it is accepted. Also, the Prophet wasallam praised the fasting of uh, uh, Prophet Dawood alayhi salam. He said to the man when the man told him, I could do more fasting, O Prophet of Allah. Then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam, he said, then fast the fasting of Dawood. Then he asked, what's the fasting of Dawood? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam said, he used to fast one day on and one day off. And if you fast one day on, and one day off, of course, you're going to fast one Saturday alone. If you start, uh, 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 let's say, Thursday, you fast Thursday, and then you break your fast Friday, then you fast Saturday, and then you break your fast Sunday, and then you fast Monday. That's allowed. That's allowed. So fasting Saturday, if someone told us, guys, no fast. Saturday is not accepted. This is not uh, uh, not uh, right. Uh, uh, so you can fast uh, Saturday. Is no problem with with that. You can fast uh, Saturday uh, uh, if it comes on a special day like that, and also. Uh, as I said, that this Saturday, dear brothers and sisters, uh, uh, this Saturday is uh, uh, going to be Arafa day, a very special day. You're not fasting Saturday because it is Saturday, because it is uh, 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 the day of June, or uh, uh, you fasting it because it is the day of of Arafah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, accept from all of us and give us the, the, the most, the utmost reward for attending that day 
and uh, doing the ritual in bed. Those 10 days, my dear brothers and sisters, do not lose any of them. If you look at the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ when he said, those days are, are, are the best days in the year. The best days. And he said, he said, أَكْثِرُ فِيهِنَّ مِنَ التَّحْلِيلِ وَالتَّحْمِيدِ وَالتَّسْبِيحِ At Tahleel, the Prophet ﷺ said, say a lot of La ilaha illallah. What La ilaha illallah takes? A second La ilaha illallah. It takes less than a second. What's Tasbih take? Subhanallah. It takes a second. What's a tahmeed say takes? It takes a second. You should measure your time in those 10 days or those nine days by a second. That means do not lose any second. And the Prophet ﷺ advised us to uh, uh, do a lot of good deeds. And the least we can do is those tasbih saying, subhanallah, alhamdulillah, or make a tahrid, because it's going to be uh, uh, multiplied. And subhanallah, there is, there is uh, the scholar said, the scholar said, those, in those days, any good deeds, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will multiply it for you. Even there is a report, although this report is uh, 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 debatable, that any day in those 10 days equal 1,000 days. And the day of Arafah equal 10,000. I'm just, whether this hadith is correct or not correct, I said it's doubt, doubt it. The scholar, uh, 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 have opinion about this hadith. But, uh, dear brothers and sisters, look, multiplication of, of good deeds, the rewards of good deeds, and Allah is able and capable to multiply out of a day, not to 10,000 days, but to million thousand days. If Allah accepts it from you, or if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, like and uh, 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 acknowledge your sincerity in uh, uh, practicing uh, these days. Uh, in those 10 days, the best thing you do is you practice the obligations. Al-Faraid, the best thing you worship Allah with is obligation. If Allah commanded you to pray five times a day, in those ten days, try to do them perfectly. Try to do them on time. Try to do them with the, the, the voluntarily prayer. Try to do the prayer in those ten days perfectly and exactly as the Prophet Sallallahu uh, Alaihi uh, Wasallam did. If you can attend the masjid to pray Dhuhr or Asr or Maghrib or Isha, do that. And when you do them, try to end your prayer with Tasbih 33 times. Alhamdulillah 33 times. Allahu Akbar 33 times. If you don't have that time and you have to leave, you have to work, do it 10 times each. It's been reported that you can do it 10 times each. Sit and make dua after the prayer. You're going to come to that. But that's uh, 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 accessory of the salah. You have, uh, not you have to, but you, you, you can do them and gain, uh, gain the reward. Or the salah. That's what you do. Obligation. Uh, uh, specifically, prayer. Also, those 10 days, 
you can fast each and every day. And someone will ask me, did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam fast them? Dear brothers and sisters, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the only month he fasted, almost complete month, uh, I mean, complete month fasting is Ramadan. The second to Ramadan is, is Sha'ban. He used to fast a lot of days in the month before, before Ramadan. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to fast on and off. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, no, did not fast those 10 days. But the Prophet وسلم, didn't encourage, he didn't say specifically in a hadith, fast those 10 days. But what he said in the hadith, he said that do amal salih, practice righteous deeds. And the best righteous deed is fasting. SubhanAllah. You don't have to fast those uh, nine days. Together, you can fast one day, at least one day, which is Arafa day. You can fast one day on, one day off. You can fast three days. You can fast two days. It's up to you, according to your ability, according to your health, according to your strength. But do not lose Arafa day from fasting as long as you are not hajji. If you are uh, practicing hajj or performing hajj, you don't fast Arafah day. Now, we have, you do a lot of dhikr. Why do you walk in? Why do you cook? You cook in? Why are you sleeping? When the, the, the night fall, when the uh, sun, sun rises, when uh, you, uh, <clears throat> you're riding your car, when you uh, get in, into your house, your house, when you uh, 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 just see, see something beautiful, uh, you say, MashaAllah, that's dick. Do not neglect dick, whether it is La ilaha illallah and on Arafa day. The best dua, the best dua is La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-hamd wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir. With each and every breath you take on Arafah day, you should say La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la. You, you try to do something we call uh, wadifa, or something we call word, word like you assign yourself. I mean, the Prophet didn't do that. But you say, okay, inshallah, today I'm going to say a hundred subhanallah, a hundred la ilaha illallah, a hundred uh, 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 giving salam to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa And you can use tipha, it's fine is no problem. This tibha is not bid'ah. The only bid'ah is this tibha is that they gather all of it together and they put it in that uh, on that uh, rope or on that uh, uh, thread uh, to, to look like what we have it. But this tibha is just to count. It's just to, to, to accurately uh, uh, say or mention a hundred, one thousand, and and there is there is uh, numbers. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Whoever say la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika a hundred times. How you gonna count those hundred times on your fingers? Some some old people like me, I I don't remember. I don't remember. So you need something to count. So you can do that. It's no problem. Make word. Make uh uh uh." Like daily tasbih, a hundred times. The Prophet ﷺ, that companion, used to count a hundred istighfar for him in one sitting. So we need that. So do istighfar a lot, do tasbih a lot, 
Bu elhamdülillah alat ve ilahe illallah alat and 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 also try to do the voluntarily voluntarily prayer. I'm not talking about uh, sunnah before bed. I'm not talking about sunnah before dhuhr or after dhuhr. I'm not talking about sunnah after maghrib or sunnah after isha or wit. I'm talking about salatu duha to rakah after the sun rises until dhuhr time. Make sure to practice this uh, 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 this salah, salatu, salatu duha. Also, uh, when uh, after dawn, instead of praying two rakah, sunnah mu'akkada, then you do four. You make them, you make them four. Dear brothers and sisters, also uh, 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 you can pray four rakahat after. Four rakahat after uh, after dhuhr. Also, Maghrib time, when adhan calls, whether you are in the masjid or not, after the adhan, do two rakahat. And that was very famous between the companion. May Allah be pleased with them. They used to do the two rakahat after the adhan until people, when they, they see them, they see them like poles in the masjid. Praying those those uh, uh, two rak'ah. Also, you can pray instead of two rak'ah after Isha time. Pray four rak'ah, four uh, rak'ah after Isha. You pray instead of with one rak'ah. Pray three rak'ah. And I know some of us are uh, 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 could not stand up for long. Sit down and do it. Sitting down is. Is no uh, is no problem. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, Allah will accept. Of course, the reward will be had. But I mean, you pray instead of praying two rakah, you pray four. You take half of this two and half of the other two. While you sitting down, you get already the complete full reward for two. Dear brothers and sisters, nowadays when we pray, we lose khushu'. We lose comfort, we lose satisfaction or tranquility. Try to learn it in those 10 days. Try to eat slowly. Try to say, okay, I'm going to read Surah Kulhu Allahu Ahad and Surah Al Fatiha. You read the tafsir of those two surahs, and when you're reading them, you just try to understand. What you reading that will bring khushu for you. Also, if you can, if your work allowed you to do i'tikaf in those ten days, Ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma, he used to stay in the masjid the day of Arafa, resembling Hajji people, and make dua all day in the masjid. If you can, you can do, if you can uh, uh, do that, of course, uh, uh, you do it. The best dhikr you do, and we all know, is la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar, la ilaha illallah, wahdahu la sharika lah. And even uh, uh, easier than that, I will tell you one dhikr easier than that, you can practice. It's la ilaha illallah wallahu akbar. Wa subhanallah walhamdulillah. That's easy. Wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi al-alihi al-azim. MashaAllah. Easy dhikr and we memorize. You keep saying, you keep saying that. Also, Quran. And we will conclude with this, inshaAllah. You read Quran and we mention Surah Al-Fatiha. In the tafsir, and we mentioned Surah Al Ikhlas in the tafsir, the virtues of Surah Al Fatiha and Surah Al Ikhlas. If you read only those two, but during those 10 days or nine days, that would be perfect, that would be great. If you add to them Surah Al Mulk, Tabarak al Ladi Biyadihil Mulk, 
very beautiful if you read also Surah Al-Hash, Surah Al-Sat, Surah Al-A'la, Sabbih Isma Rabbika Al-A'la. They are <coughs> beautiful surah. Surah Yaseen, Yaseen, Wal Quran Al Hakim. Dear brothers and sisters, uh, 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 those surahs, they are very beautiful surahs. You can, you can read them and repeat them. It, it is good for you, better for you, more reward for you. Do not neglect Quran. Yaseen wal Quran al Hakim. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. Yaseen wal Quran al Hakim. Beautiful surah, surah al Saf, uh, uh, surah al Mulk, surah al Huwallahu Ahad, uh, surah al Aoud bi Rabbi al Talaf, al Aoud bi Rabbi al Nas. Surah Al-Fatiha, all those surah you know about, they are very good and very beautiful. Try to do them. If you can read the whole Quran in those 10 days, then do it. If not, it's fine. And don't forget the beginning of Surah Al-Baqarah, the end of Surah Al-Baqarah. Also, uh, uh, to, to be good to your parents, to be good to your family, to your children, to other people, to your shiuk, to your teachers, to your, uh, uh, to your uh, siblings, your brothers and sisters. Those are just few rituals. And of course, if you dig deep in your heart, dig deep in your brain, you will probably gain and Find out more ritual than what I said. May Allah accept from all of us and reward all of us and let us gain the reward of those uh, days of Dhul uh, Hijjah uh, and uh, make. Or turn them back safe and sound and. Uh, we ask you, Allah, to give victory, uh, 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 complete victory to our brothers and sisters in uh, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Kashmir, uh, Myanmar, uh, uh, Syria, uh, Sudan, uh, Somalia, especially, especially, especially our brothers and sisters in Palestine, Gaza, Rafah, and Sudan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them victory, accept the martyrs, and accept your good deeds. Ameen. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfir Allah alif lakum. The mic is back to you, Sister Layla, and I'm very sorry I took a little bit longer time. But Jazakumullah uh, khairan uh, and thank you for listening. And if there is any mistake I make, that's from me, from me and my shaitan. And I astaghfirullah that from the mistake that I made. And if it is what I said, it is correct. And according to the Quran and the Sunnah, I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for it. And I ask him to accept it. Amin. Back to you, Sister Life. Alhamdulillah. This was mashallah. One of the brothers here typed for me to tell you, Supana Allah. No one ever explained that before. He said the brothers are always debating about which is better, Ramadan 10 days or Dhul Hijjah. You explained it. He said, please, Sister Layla, put this on a short. And yes, I will. Yes, he said, so Ramadan are the nights this month, the 10 days. Alhamdulillah. Yes. He said, Alhamdulillah, thank you. He said, yes. the brothers and are always for, arguing. For those 10 days which we are in right now, those the days and follow them another 10 days alhamdulillah alhamdulillah yes i'll make some shorts and by the way shay did you see the shorts i made of your lecture last time 
No, they're all over. The, oh my God, it's about a hundred. I'm. They're all over the internet, and they they're going viral. Your lectures on the Surah of of Eclos. Allah, Allah, Allah. Yeah, Allah, they're Allah. all on YouTube, Facebook, yes. and uh, yes. Twitter. Yes. Alhamdulillah. Yes. Are you with me on Facebook, Sheikh Alayra? Yes, yes. You, if you, if you, okay, you just share it with yeah, me. Yeah, I'll just put them on. What I'll do is put them on your page from now on so you yes. can see them because yes, the people love it. them. Uh, I, I would be uh, honored, Wallahi. I would be, that's my honor. And by the way, brothers and sisters, I just want to let you guys know the reason why you guys can see the difference. We're living in the days of fitting, as you all know, and the Ruwebida. Now you can see the difference of a person who has knowledge and understanding of the dean as opposed to a person that's just a speaker. Sheikh Saud is a real scholar of this ulama. He's on, he's on the Amja committee. He's on the American may, Muslim Jurist Association. No, he is. Listen, he's not just a celebrity. And you see the scholars are real modest. They don't go around calling themselves muftis. That's a term of arrogance. Now you see. So that's why he was able to break that down like that. Yes, yeah, that's an authentic hadith. Those are hadiths. He said, thank you so much. Thank you so much because the brothers are debating that. Alhamdulillah. And I thank you very much, my dear brothers and sisters, for making dua for me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Any questions in the Zoom room? That's the only comments I got here on uh, YouTube. I think that's all then. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Oh, there's no one more Shukala. question. Shukala. Oh. Shukala, brother. Well, yeah. Shukala. Alhamdulillah. 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 Another I'm so blessed to have, have listened to you. I, I learned more about it than any book. Just reading it in a book was my I life. am blessed because we learning together, Wapahi. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, one of the brothers here is saying, and so are we going to next week continue with Eclos or go to another sewer? No, we didn't finish on Eclos yet. <laughs> he said, okay, good. That's what he wanted to know because he's and, taking notes. And, uh, next week, next week is the Eid, guys. Take a break. <laughs> SubhanAllah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. He said, yes. Yeah. The, yeah. He's going to go over that. He's going to go over uh, the virtues and all that. Yes. Yes. He said, good. Cause he's taking notes. His, his mommy, his Umi has him taking notes and stuff. Okay. Good. 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 I love you all. Allah. I love you all. You are great. Allah. And you are sincere, very sincere, uh, students of knowledge. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Okay, I think yes, that's it. I love you guys. I love you all. Okay, guys. So that's all we have. We're going to log out. My class will be at 9 30. I'm going to be doing the signs of the last hour at 9 30. Are you getting us out, Chef Yeah, yeah, because I think that's all they got. And I know you. Is it time for prayer where you are? It's time for prayer here where I am. He's I enjoyed being with you guys. Uh, please remember me in your dua in Arafah. Uh, may Allah bless all of you and accept from all of you. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.